What's up guys? Welcome back to another 2023 Subaru BRZ video. In today's video guys, it's more of a rant. This video is being recorded after my 1500 kilometers review. So if that doesn't go up, by the way, I'll remake it. Uh, sometimes I don't like the way that I make the video, so I remake it. Um, but this one's definitely going to go up. This is a rant. I had this car get doored at a parking lot. You know, door dinked. So someone opened their car door and hit my car door. The damage is not significant. I'm not trying to say the damage is serious or anything like that. But I know it's there even though it's not that visible. And it annoys the hell out of me. And now I have to buff that out. So that's my complaint. Um... Because guess what? I did not get compensated for that. I literally confronted the guy because I was sitting in the car. So, okay, let me tell you guys a story. So I'm sitting in the car, right? And I usually park my car further away from people that I don't know or from even an empty parking lot like this. Um, at the time, on the driver's side, I had my wife's car. So I parked right next to her car and closer to her car because obviously um, I trust her and I don't. I don't trust the person that would be next to me. So I parked literally, as you see here, like I was also almost that far away from the next parking lot. And the guy parked where that line is, I would say maybe, maybe a little bit closer. Like if I can demonstrate on camera, maybe around there. Okay. He had a Ford F-150, if I'm not mistaken, or a Dodge Ram or something like that. Some pickup truck. But the pickup truck was a beater. It was beat up and, uh, you know, it's whatever. You might not care about your car as a beater, but I care about my car. And when you park your car next to an expensive car, just remember to be careful. They clearly were not careful. Okay, they swung their door open. The guy just threw open the door. And I confronted them because I was in my car and uh, I, you know, I, I asked them, I'm like, what did you do? Right? Like, I wasn't really aggressive. I didn't yell at them or anything like that. I just simply said, what did you do? And they looked like, you know, they were in shock. They were just staring at me quietly at first. And then I pointed to the car. I'm like, you hit my car. And they were still silent. And then they were like, no, I didn't hit your car. Right, And then they started playing it off, which pisses me off about people, man. Take responsibility for your actions. As an adult, take responsibility. You know what I mean? They didn't say sorry. They didn't say any of that. They just literally said, I didn't do it. And then they walked inside the shop. Now, I'm not letting it go, right? I waited for them because... I, I expected a little bit of compensation. I'm not talking about a whole lot. So let me show you guys the damage first, man. <laughs> Just so you guys can understand what compensation I am uh, requesting here. So you can't see it, right? Most of the time you can't see. It. Even if you went up close to the car like this, you would not be able to tell it's a scrap. His paint is basically on my car. And you can't really see it though. It's small. Um, if I could get it on cam here. Yep, right there. So right, oh right there right there and there's a long line not really long but there's a little bit of a line here i can't get it at a certain angle oops i just unlocked my car or locked my car and no this does not come off right and you can see the blue bluish paint on the car so back to the story i didn't expect a whole lot of compensation now it's not gonna be a lot right uh, I just need to buff it out maybe buy some certain products to apply to the car buff it out and it should be good to go so I wanted that compensation but it got a little dicey because uh, these people really did not want to pay like they didn't understand the value of the car they didn't understand uh, how I felt about what they did they didn't care. And that's the thing. As an adult, man, you need to take responsibility for what you've done. It's just, it's so stupid to me that people try and downplay things. People try and pretend like, oh, nothing happened. So as I, as I came out, the guy started yelling. He said, call the police, call the police. We all know that the police would not do anything about the tiniest scratch in the world. Uh, it's really not that big of an issue. I did try to call them. Uh, I asked them, I'm like, is there a line that's not for emergencies and like just for like a parking lot issue? So they gave me a number, but honestly, I didn't even end up calling it. It's just, it's not worth it. 
but I was pissed off at the time. And I told him, it's a brand new car, man. Like, can you be more careful? Like, how, like, how, how do you just swing a door open like that? And I've had cars that were keyed before. My 370Z was keyed uh, by a coworker that I had. At the time, I didn't confront him because I didn't have proof, but I know it was him because he's the only guy that hated me. And I hated him too, to be honest. So he definitely keyed my car. And uh, that pissed me off. 370Z keyed, oh, it didn't look good. It was like a long streak and that was 100% visible. It was deep. This one is not that big of an issue. I just needed a little bit of funds to buy the tools I need. Long story short, um, I didn't get compensation. I didn't get anything for it. All I got was a sorry and that's after arguing. That is not good, okay? And by the way, these the couple that hit my car were, I was, I'm going to say maybe early 60s. I don't think they were that old to... They weren't that old. And uh, the son and even the wife of the guy who was driving, they try and act like, you know, age is the problem and mental health. And you know what? I would not judge anyone about mental health. But here's the thing. You're driving a vehicle. Okay, there's other vehicles around you, there's other people around you, you have responsibilities as a human being to uh, be careful, right? You can't just slam other people's car doors, you can't just hit other cars and get away with it like that, like that's not how, you know, that's not how it works and they should know that as an adult, so that's my problem here. I'm sure most of my viewers are very careful with their cars, you guys are car guys, car girls, so I definitely know that you guys are responsible, but a lot of people out there aren't, so I highly recommend and I should have done this too. I highly recommend getting paint protection and getting a clear coat for your car and whatnot. Get all the protection that you need for the car to take care of the paint. The paint on these cars are very expensive. If that scratch was any bigger, I'd have to pay a lot for the paint. We all know Pearl White on a Subaru is not cheap, right? If you guys seen the car, this is not just a normal white. You guys seen it up close, right? With the flash on here. Like, look at that. It's just sparkling right the paint is very very nice on these cars and get a big scratch on them good luck it's going to be expensive so it's basically my rant for today and at the same time i was even told that hey everyone you know hits car doors by accident you know i'm sure you did it too like they said that to me and no no i i've never door dinked a car it's just about being honest and facing the issue and apologizing very important to apologize because I did not get a story. I got a simple yell, uh, not simple. Uh, they yelled at me to call the police and that's, that's not very, it doesn't make sense to me. So please guys take it easy and uh, I'll try and get that fixed. I might make a video on it. If when, when I buy the stuff, I'll make a video on how I got rid of it. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out. See you guys in my next video.